Hey guys, it's uh, Stephen Freeborn from FreebornTrainingSystems.com and real quick, I just want to drop a quick tip on you about prerequisites. And actually, I, I attended um, the FRC seminars, a lot of you probably saw through my posts on social media this past weekend, and Dr. Spina said that one of the un most underused words in the gym is uh, the word prerequisite, and I completely agree. And the idea is that before we jump into doing the exercises that we all love to do and think are fun, like deadlifting, squatting, pressing, all the things that you know make us strong and make us feel like badasses, we need to first establish prerequisites of movement. Prerequisites of what do we need to have before we can deadlift? What, what range of motion, what strength level, what stability do I need to have so that I can deadlift safely for a long time without worrying about creating injuries and pains down the road? And it drives home this point probably better to illustrate it using um, nutrition as a, an analogy. So you don't just wake up one day overweight, right? It's a period over many courses of months and years in which you make a bad decision, and then all of a sudden one day you notice you're 25 pounds overweight. But that weight was added a small incrementally over time. The same thing happens with injuries, a lot of injuries and pains and arthritis and um, problems with our joints is we try to do things we're not really prepared to do, but we don't notice we're not prepared to do them. Right? We can do a squat and maybe not have the right range of motion in our joints and get away with it, but eventually it adds up and all of a sudden one day you notice you're having pain in your knees and you're wondering why do I have pain in my knees and the reason is is because you didn't establish the prerequisites in your joints to establish the correct range of motion to be able to do a squat without compensation. And now you've spent hundreds of reps compensating in a pattern that you shouldn't have been doing, and now you've led to a repetitive use injury or some kind of um, inflammation in one of your joints that's causing you pain. And it's kind of, well, it's a mystery why this happened, but it's not a mystery. The mystery is you didn't do the things up front you needed to do in order to earn the right to do an exercise. So just don't be in such a rush to do the stuff that looks fun. Be in a rush to first establish prerequisites that you need to do the stuff that looks fun, right? Take the time, be patient, work on that stuff, be diligent about it, make it count. And then when you're ready to tackle those more complex exercises, feel confident that you're ready to do it and do it injury free and do it safely and get to where you want to go with it um, in an efficient manner instead of getting injured, having to take time off, and coming back to the gym, getting injured, taking time off, and that repetitive cycle. Uh, I hope this uh, helps you guys. I hope it helps you get a better understanding of how to maybe approach your training and how to maybe look at um, your programs and, and identify areas where you may have rushed ahead too quickly and maybe you need to regress back to some lower level stuff before you're ready. And a coach is all, also a great way to do that because they'll be able to kind of identify what are those prerequisites. You know, it's kind of like um, in math, you know, you don't want to start trying to learn calculus until you know algebra. And you don't want to start trying to learn algebra until you just know basic arithmetic. And the, the same thing happens with movement. You know, maybe at one time in your life, you don't, you already had the prerequisites. But if you've spent five or 10 years in a sedentary lifestyle, you've probably lost a lot of ranges of motion, a lot of strength. And you just need to reestablish those prerequisites before you start jumping into those higher level movements. I hope this helps, and we're, we'll talk again later this week with more tips. But until then, I hope you guys are having a great day and have a great rest of your week, and we will talk to you guys later.